Are you struggling to get your modal content to scroll properly in your React app? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the tricky world of nested flex boxes and how to make scrolling work seamlessly. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when you have a modal with tabbed content and the scrolling just doesn't behave as expected. You're not the only one facing this issue, and it's a common challenge among developers. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. One user asked, how can I make the content inside my modal scroll while keeping the header and footer fixed? They have a modal divided into three sections, a header, content, and a footer. The content should scroll, but not the entire modal. Sound familiar? Let's tackle this together. So, what's the issue here? The challenge lies in ensuring that only the content inside the modal scrolls while the header remains visible at the top and the footer stays at the bottom. This requires a careful setup of CSS properties to achieve the desired behavior. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you manage scrolling in your modals like a pro. To begin solving the user's issue with scrolling inside nested flex boxes, we need to ensure that the scrollable content is properly constrained within its parent container. First, the user should set a maximum height for the scrollable area. Next, the user should ensure that the parent container of the scrollable content has a defined height. This will allow the scrollable area to function correctly within the modal. Now, the user should check that the modal itself is set up to allow for proper flexbox behavior. This means ensuring that the modal content is displayed as a flex container. Finally, the user should test the modal to ensure that the scrollable content behaves as expected. They can do this by adding enough content to the scrollable area to trigger the scroll. Fun fact, did you know that the first graphical user interfaces were developed in the 1970s? They were a game changer for how we interact with computers today. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests using position absolute for the scrollable div. This method allows the scrollable area to be positioned correctly within the modal layout. The user provides a code pen example to illustrate both long and short content scenarios. Additionally, to prevent background scrolling when the modal is open, the user recommends adding or removing a class from the body element. This can effectively stop the background from scrolling while allowing the modal content to scroll. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative solution from another user suggests that to enable scrolling inside your nested flex box, you need to set a specific height on the scrollable element. Additionally, you should apply overflowy set to auto. This way, the content will scroll properly within the defined height. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your modal on different screen sizes to ensure the scrolling behaves as expected. This will save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. Your modal should now scroll correctly while keeping the header and footer fixed. Remember, testing is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and don't forget to check out our next video for more advanced modal techniques.